Hello team, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how we can install and configure Tomcat server. So as you know, Tomcat server is one of the most used deployment server where we could deploy our applications. So in this video, first we will download the tar file, then extract it, then install it, then we will configure and then I will show you how you can manage the usernames and password as well as how to change the port where Tomcat will be accessible. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay team, so this is a Linux machine Ubuntu based which I will be using for installing the Tomcat server. Okay, so first of all, let me tell you the prerequisite for it. So if I go back to Google, you can see Tomcat prerequisites which requires a Java version installed minimum of 1.8. Okay, so what I will do, I will first of all install Java. So we will run apt get, we will update the packages. Meanwhile, this is updating packages. I will copy the command to uh, install Java. So this is the command. I will install JDK 11. Okay, so packages updated. So we'll paste this. And it will download 600 MB of data for the installation. So let's wait for it. Meanwhile, it is downloading this. What we could do, we could go back to Google and we can search for tomcat you can search tomcat archive and it will open so we want to install a version of tomcat 9 so i will open this one and we will select this version 9 point yeah this one 9.0.65 we will open this then we will click on bin and here we need to choose the tar file so this one we will right click on it and copy the link address so that when we paste it it can be downloaded automatically okay now java is still installing so we will wait for it to complete okay almost complete Okay, so it's complete. Let's check the version. Okay, it's installed. So now what we will do, we will go to this location. And here we will download the Apache Tomcat file. So we have using the wget command. Okay. Then click enter. We're saying permission denied so we can use sudo wget yeah now it is downloading now this is done now what we need to do we need to extract this file for that also we have the command again we need to use sudo just copy this and paste it here extract it now what I will do, I will remove that uh, file because it will like taking some space. I will remove this sudo again. Yeah. Now, okay, this is there. Now we will follow the next step, which is to go inside the con folder which will contain the configuration files so we will paste it maybe before that I will change to root yeah okay so next step is to configure the users so we will open this and here as you can see add below line so this is the username and password so I will copy this you can see the username and password is admin admin1234 which you can change if you require okay and we need to add it in the second last line which is just below the ending of document we will paste it then escape wq save this okay 
next step we need to link these two files okay the start document uh, start tomcat and startup.sh these two things we need to link for this this is the command same thing for the stop tomcat okay this is done next up we need to comment some files let's comment some specific lines in this context.xml file so that we will do commenting in this file can be done using it's okay yeah uh, comment has opened and here we will close it this is done control uh, wq saved one more thing we need to do is comment another line in this file press i for insert scroll down to here okay, and comment so this is also done now we will escape wq saved file okay so this is all and this is how like you set up now we will before starting tomcat we will right sudo stop tomcat in case yeah now we will just start the tomcat it is saying it is running okay so to access it let me copy the ip address of the vm paste it here and tomcat is running at 8080 port so call on 8080 press enter and tomcat is running one more thing that you need to know is like how you can change the port okay so we can see the tomcat is running at this uh, ip address and at port 8080 sometimes the port is not may not be available because other application may be using it for example in case we, we have a big vm and we have installed jenkins first which took the port 8080 so if we do not have the 8080 port available so what we could do we could change the port number to another available port so how we will do that so for that we will go back to our uh, linux machine and we are inside this opt slash tomcat file so type ls to search the files and you need to open specific file which is this file okay so we will go inside this file this folder and here you will find several xml files you will find several xml files out of which we will take out server.xml okay so we will open this okay now what we need to do we need to find a connector where the port is mentioned okay so we will scroll down to see uh, where is the connector yes so you can see here is the connector where the connector port is written as 8080 so we will change it to 8081 escape colon wq to save it okay now what i will do sudo stop tomcat then sudo start tomcat okay now if i go back to this uh, server where port was 8080 if i click enter it may not open because it is tomcat is not running at this port now so to access tomcat we need to type the port as 8081 click enter and here is tomcat okay also if you want to see the server status we, you could click here and as the password we have set as admin and password is admin1234 click enter and we can see the manager status so this is pretty much about about today's video and i hope you got the understanding how we can install and set up tomcat so thanks for watching